which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thou kingdom come. Bless thy will be done. We just a family, you know, a family that pray together, stays together as a hallelujah, you know what I mean, and hallelujah. We be singing and having jolly time, and love ye thy one another. And it get that sometimes the music and everything be sounding good. We reach back and get our speaker and our guitar, drums and things. And you talk about seeing your old man a couple of steps. Say, yay, my Lord. <laughs> you talking about a hallelujah time. Oh, we have it there. <laughs> yes, together. Oh, my Lord. Her started out. I bet we her started out uh, at my daughter's house one night. We went over to see her and we started to sing and we started a song about something got a hold of me. And we started from that night on to singing. We went from house to house and we used to have people coming. We go from one house to the other. And it was they have a real nice beat. And from that on, we went to singing. And just after we got to singing so many of Johnny with us, us named us drooped in spiritual hopes. Sometimes we go to Natchez, Baton Rouge, and where we went, we had the whole family. We did the singing, we had the whole group there together, all those children. And we didn't have to worry about nothing else, because we had them with us, and we didn't have to worry about what might happen to the ones at the house. They have to be with us. There you go. Get your legs over, darling. Let them hang. You know, the tram track, you know, because so many trams are going to go by. And uh, when the time when all of us was together, and we were singing every evening on that BK. Oh, Nora. Was, was, was Velma with us? No, yes, she was. Yes, yeah, she was. She was be with us. I know Louise was, was. <laughs> All of us, Louise and Cheryl and Doll and you and myself. And we were singing every evening, every evening. We were singing, singing that, uh, <laughs> singing every evening on that keg, and then the moonlight would give us the light, you know, it would just no, be the moonlight. Was favorite song light. And I'm going up trying to praise him there. Yeah, I'm, uh, no, the favorite song was on. That's it, praise him there. Praising Jerusalem, going up yonder. Praising Jerusalem, going up yonder. Praising Jerusalem, going up yonder. Praise Him there, oh Lord, oh my Lord, oh Lord, oh my Lord. Well, I've never been to heaven, but.
that I've been told. Got up to another crazy man. Streets of pearly gates of gold. Got up to another crazy man. Said I'm gonna be under. Praise in Jerusalem. Going up yonder. Praise him there. Going up yonder. Praise in Jerusalem. I'm going up yonder. Praise him there. Oh Lord. I was born in Wickerson County to a place that you call Cable, Mississippi. I was there until I got married. After then, I moved to Centerville in the Amit County. And I can say that I am truly a Christian and a church worker and a missionary of the Pain Brain here in Centerville, Mississippi. I also pray for the sick people, help those that is not able going to the homes, our hospitals, and I have so much missionary work to do until I hardly can get around to it. Mama wouldn't take nothing for her backyard. <laughs> she sits there all practically two and three hours at least a day. She gets up every morning, that's the first place she comes. When I come out on the porch in the morning, I say, good morning, mama. And she hollers back to me. And then she goes to her yard and she sits down there for a little while. And she says she be talking to the Lord. We walks up on her sometimes, she be sitting back there praying and she tells us all the time that was a holy little land back there. We just don't know how blessed we are sitting there. Well, I believe there because I can kind of feel it myself. Well, she just be sitting here, and all at once she just starts singing, and if you ain't paying her no attention, you will pay her some attention because the song that she was singing, you don't know it. And she just wondered how a person like that just sitting there singing a song like that, you had never heard it before, and so we just know it's a new song come to her. When she get through, she say, well, I got it. Be another new song and come to her. All my songs, you know, come in as an inspiration and while my mouth fly open, just like a mockingbird, and just sing. I ain't heard that song. Never heard it in my life. And I cried when God spoke and His Holiness that you must be born again. Well, I just cried. I said, oh, Lord. I said, Y'all, I say, come here. I say, oh, my goodness. I say, I got something. I say, I told my baby girl, I say, Get on your piano, I want to really one morning just to rise and everything, and play this for me. And the all together background and everything that was all together. And my mouth just almost said, God spoke. Yes, it did. He spoke in his holiness. God spoke. God spoke the background. He spoke in this holiness. God spoke. Background. God spoke. He spoke in his holiness. He said that you must be born again. Oh, God spoke. Yes, it is. To Daniel in the lion's den, God spoke. Yes, God spoke. To Daniel in the lion's den, God spoke. To Daniel in the lion's den, he said that you must be born again. And I just cried it all. Oh, I said, that's the wonderful thing, Lord, I ever heard in my life. I said, so beautiful, Master. And I just wring my hands and just walk on through the house and just cry. Just couldn't help it. Love of God. Oh, God spoke. 
Yes, I did. I recognized his voice. God spoke. God spoke. Then I made my choice. God spoke. Yes, Lord. He said that you must be born again. And I've been Canada ever since. Whenever I went in my churches and they say it's one of the beautiful songs ever heard of life. I told them, well, the Spirit of God moved up on me and I had to care to say, I'm just hoping one day that my that song will go all over the world. I came up and sang in school, Sunday school and whatnot. And my daddy, he always used to read the Bible, you know, to us all the time. And my mama's mother, she couldn't read nothing but an armor neck. He would get that Bible, you know, there and read it to it. I would lay down and listen at him and take every word in. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'd take every word in. And I'm glad now today that I did. No beautiful thing in the world, you know, than a family that loves you one another. Like my children love me and I love my children and my grandchildren. Oh, I just love them. If I didn't love them, I wouldn't have that many around. I'd blush them and, well, sometimes I have to get them back, you know. But every child, mostly around here, they just huddle around and just huddle, huddle till they see me do this. That mean go. <laughs> that mean go. back to my remembrance. But I do know, you know, they sang in the saddle walker, sitting in a saucer, weeping and crying, you know, for a cool drink of water. They say it's, rise, Sally, rise. Wipe your weeping eyes. Put that in on your hip, let your back bow slip. And gonna shake it to the east. Oh, they just be shaking it out there. They'd be playing and having a good time. I said, well, let's just play that when we used to go, you know, go to school. Say, oh, Mama, they used to sing that then? I told them, yeah, they used to sing that. That's the, that's the way back stuff, I tell them. Now, about to wash your hands. Wash your hands. Come on. Go. Go. Take me, okay, I'll tell you. Oh, if I got what you all think you want for dinner today. Oh, some of you that don't want what I cook. We thank thee, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful blessing, for which we are about to receive the nerves and for the strength of our bodies. I pray these blessings. Amen. Come on. Look at you, I was a little tiny thing, 
My daddy and my mother, you know, they would fix my dinner. And every, every time they feed me, I would leave the house. But they didn't pay too much attention to the little thing. I left there so many times from the dinner table. I just, you know, get out and crawl, get on, crawl on out, huddle out some way, you know. A little old something, I guess, about like one of my daughter's little, little ones. I was big enough to hold my plate to get out there while I was going. <laughs> so, my daddy said, you know that, that gal, that's what the, he spoke it to me. Every day that baby gets out somewhere and goes somewhere, I say, tomorrow I'm going to watch and see where is she going. Say, every time we finish eating, she not in the house, she out somewhere. So that next day, my daddy taken and watched me, him and, and my mother. And I, uh... Got down with my plate and I went on out there. They didn't feed me on a plate, this thing. It was a little pain. And I went out the door and the daddy watched me and my mother. And a little old thing hard on up to a, a bushy place, you know. Where it used to be, my daddy say, oh well. And I went on up there and he said, oh Lord, what is, what, where my baby going? And I hung on, went on up to the well, and I, I sit down, you know. And when I walked hung up there, a great big old snake, he said, came up out of that, you know, came up out of that old well. They had it filled in with old, lots of different old trash and bricks and things. And the snake come wobbling on out to my plate, and I take and give him some, you know. He opened his little mouth and lick it, you know. And uh, I take what left and eat it myself. And I, my daddy said, my daddy said he liked to faint when he seen that. Say he didn't know what to do when he seen that. And say so he got a stick, you know. He ran and back down in the hole, you see, before he could get there to kill the snake. So he say he burned it up, you see. And every evening, every day, you know, at that time, I would go out there with my plate and just cry. Just cry. I wasn't big enough to speak good, you see. And I would just cry and cry and cry. They say they hated, they had killed him, but they had to get rid of him. <laughs> because I had to made my, look like the rest of my life with him out there for, I don't know how long, you know, they say that I hadn't been doing, but they had been noticed for quite a while. I was feeding the snake. The first time I remember meeting her, I was, we had gone to school together. I went to school and we was, uh, when the school was turned out, we would be playing, get one of the tags. And he was go, he was running one way and I was running another way. And I ran into him and killed him dead as a nit. <laughs> And oh, the blood gushed and air, no water, that run get water and thorny. Oh, they just had to bring him to his nose was bleeding and tuck his nozzle and he could just hear him popping. <laughs> and from that, you know, that thought that just knocked all the love, you know. It wasn't the world in us, and then we would come to love a little bit out at school, you see. And then we just loved a while and kept a loving until when I got a big enough, you see, to take company. Well, then he would come to my house to see me. And from that on, me and him come to be us with I. I met God. I would see the people God. say, oh, my Lord, the world is in a fix. You know, that hurts me. We got a beautiful world. We got the most beautiful world now than it was when it first began. The trees, flowers, and the butterflies, and, and the bees, and the human nation of people, train, buses. Ooh, I can't say nothing, but world, you is a beautiful dress. If I didn't have enough of the chair to sit out there in the yard, I wouldn't say it just because, you know, I could speak it. Let this world in a fit. Oh, I don't like that part of conversation. I like the conversation to say, world, you is a beautiful dress. You might be able enough to go out there and step in a Cadillac. Ain't it beautiful? Travel through the world. 
sun is so beautiful, he'd have another chance. The moon. If I was in a place where I couldn't hardly see myself going through, I couldn't say nothing, but the Lord did it. That's his way. He grew the trees. I couldn't say nothing, but Lord did This is a beautiful world. Oh, yeah. We should give our king that praise, you see. It was a pillar crowd, Riz. I knew it was had disappeared there for something. And I was praying to God at that, looking at that beautiful pillar cloud, and it was just only but floating in the air, you know. And all on the southern, I said, Father, if you want me to go out in the world, and tell the people that you is the savior of the world. I say, flash that, flash right into that pillar cloud, and I will go ahead. And without you, Lord, don't flash it if you don't be with me. I want to know if you will be with me and you want me to do the hand work. So I'm willing to go on and do my master's will. And all on the southern up, you know, an uh, airplane pass, and he passed so close to that pillow cloud, you know, until he tried to fool me, you know, some way, you know, if I had a talk to believe of that airplane, well, I yet wouldn't have been up under the understandings of God. And I said, no, Lord, I say, that's not the hand wakes of you, I say, that's man. Say, I want you to flash that pillar cloud with lightning. And if you flash that pillar cloud with lightning, I know man can't do it, Heavenly Father. And I will go out in the world amongst the people and tell them that you are the savior of the world. And did you know what happened? When he got it, the smoke, you know, where he could see through it, he flashed that and go ahead. And that lightning was so bright and beautiful until I could pick up anything in the world I wanted on the ground. I could see the trees. It was so pretty, you know. It wasn't, wasn't nothing in the element, but that lightning, that ball of lightning, it just, it just, that's like you take off uh, eight plat whip, you know, and throw it out and bring it. Well, it did that, and I'm got to go. Without it, I'm just got to go and tend to my master's business. Because I know you have a job for me. And when I be out on my work and my missionary, I'm not worried he's there. And if he hadn't, he wouldn't flash. Go ahead. Well, she was pretty good on healing her. Because I know she how healed me. I remember one night I was sick, real sick. And I was ready to go to the hospital. I thought I had to go that night. And she told me, and she said, oh, I have to to come try to do something for me. He said, I will if the spirit come, but if the spirit don't come, I can't do that. But he finally come, and she laid me down on the settee there at the house, and a few minutes she had given me ease. And from that old, ever since that, the children that I'm having misery like that, that she could eat them. I see her eat them up like that. Grown people's too. I know the blood to blood. Be mama heals people when they when uh, with, when they find their song. I know there was the blood. I know there was the blood. I know there was the blood. Say. So much, you know, like nails and different cuts of cause, you know, they with the log jaw. And they get all that old blood, that blood, you see, gonna affect, you know, back up in you, you see. So many parts, you see. That gonna bring, uh, you know, swelling. Uh, then there will poison blood, you know, from that, 
from the draw of resuction, you see, of that blood, you see. You know, it just all time in, you know, working like that. And uh, it'll snatched it up in there. It just probably went on, you know, onto the foam, you know, a good doctor scrape. But if I can get to him, it won't cause him no more. Little old girl got caught and she come here. Oh, Lord, the blood, that I said, bring her here. I couldn't get her no further in the hive. I said, I said, bring the child here, Lord, have mercy. I say, be quiet now, and I can get you back to the step. Well, I can lay her foot, you know. Uh, she had to starve herself with glass about that day. Oh, Lord, that blood is just like you milking a cow. I just got that and went to pop it. You know, you got to pop it. Pop above that cut, you see. But you got to pop it, you understand? You got to beat that, you know. You beat it. There, and then you go around it like that. See, that hitting those veins. When you hit those, see that? When I hit that vein, it run in there. I hit that vein. See it right there? When I hit that vein, it didn't run in there. Well, then your blood veins is all over, you know. And that man vein, he had to pop it, you know. And I just beat up above it, way up above it. Went all the way down that foot, you know. Just like that there. And just kept a beating like that. And it stopped bleeding just in a second. Because I didn't want to give him the log jaw, you see, shot. Uh, so all that caused a lockdown. And I beat it like that and mashed it and did everything I could so no blood could come. And I took it and I hit it. I just gone. The other night there, uh, when we went down to Sister uh, Jones' house down there, and, uh, and we were singing that healing song. You know what it was, Betty? Oh. Uh, I was healed by the wind. Yeah, you know, we're singing it in all the uh, songs. My fatty was uh, was uh, healing on the lady, and then all of a sudden she uh, the lady jumped up with the shouting we were talking about oh sister Chapman is gone, oh sister Chapman is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that was there, wasn't it? Yeah, I was there. Miss Jones, when she jumped up and started shouting that he was he was gone, she had a big shout. I heard it. But she was trying to say, that, oh sister Chapman is right here, but it's gone now. <laughs> When somebody else comes sit in the house and they want to be prayed for, and she'll pray for her, like that. And then when she gets through praying for her, they'll be here right, and they'll be, they won't be sick that much, and they'll be real, real, they'll be, and they'll be well, like that. Like when we go out on these healing programs, which are uh, from house to house, uh, to the sick, where we go in and we pray, she does the praying, we do the singing. First of all, we have a um, scripture read from the Bible, where she prays and she sing a little and she'll pray and she'll, with her hands, she'll, well, if the person sick, he or uh, she doesn't have to tell her exactly what spot hurt her or where she's sick. I had a way, you know, to find your disease. You know, I take your temper, you know, with my hand. I just put it over your mouth and take the temper from you and those fingers. To just be hitting it just like that. I'd go and find that place in there, you see. And I used to work them and find that disease. Now, when it gets worse than never that disease, you know, well, it's going to stay there. You, you can't move my hand. It's going to stay there. You better believe that's where the misery are, you know. And I have to start at the top of your head, you know. See, I'm, I'm tired of the disease. Well, all the flesh, even much the the blood that runs and circulates to you, through your body, you know. It has a defect, you see, to do with your whole body when you are sick. And that's the way, you know, he gave that to me, to wake the sick people over from the, from the top of their head out into the end of their feet, twisting and unloading it from them, and getting all that rose and throw it on out into the atmosphere. They say, ye, I come thou forth in the name of the Lord. That's the way I work some over now. I get all that mangle and it just twists. Even much all over you, you know. You sick somewhere. All over. Throw it up. 
come ye therefore from that pillar cloud, I touch you. In the name of the Lord, the Spirit, and the Holy Ghost. Go. Tell them to get up now and go. And then go. If it's the Lord will. When well, we used to go to uh, Clinton, Louisiana, and sing with Mr. Mr. Watson, what's mm -hmm. his name? The Don's now. And Fatty was saying that about, uh... Tell who's saying, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that, uh... How that went? Um, Tell old Satan to leave me alone. Whoa, tell old Satan to leave me alone. Well, I'm gone in my room. Yes, I'm fall out on my knees. Tell old Satan to leave me alone. Now those sister come across this shop. Yeah, I used to love <laughs> that song. Watson, all of them give. You know what? That was just some really good times, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And now it's still growing and growing bigger. And it's, mm -hmm. it's more now and part of now yeah. than it was then. We were singing then and we were singing it because we could sing. But now we know the meanings of why we're singing and the meanings of the singing. And the feelings that goes with it. All that together. Then you mean you got to have it to sing. And Bo Dylan had to take you out there and you were snuffing and sneezing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, who was singing that night? I okay. believe everybody was singing our power law, wasn't it? Uh, it looked like to me Bo Dylan was singing she, itself. And, you, and, they, and they tell me, she's sick, she's sick. She that's sick. what they're saying. Yeah. And you know, I mean, that's the first time I got happy, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, at home. No, the first time I got happy was <laughs> at home. Yeah, when, yeah, we was yeah. a, when we was having a meeting at home, yeah. and Mama was singing that That's song. That's when we all got, got happy. The prayers is the key to heaven. You can pray and beg and plead and ask God, you know, to help you when you are sick. There's some growing and the need for people is in their homes now. Some is not able enough to get out and go to church for people can go around and talk to them about the Bible to remember the Bible and God and the church work. When you're praying, then your prayers goes to the Son, and then the Son delivers the message to God. Then if it's okay with God, then He's coming back to the Son, you see. And then He'll send the message back to you for the answer. But when you uh, come to be a Christian, I say now, uh, He will send that straight all the way through to you.
when I get in my holy reaction, I speak in tongues. I uh, have been speaking in tongues, you know, many years. My mouth would be popping just like it is in the wintertime, and I'd just be speaking, you know, in tongues. Christ talking to me, and I'm not understanding, you know, what he, the meanings of it, you see. It's good, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, yeah, I spoke many times and talked with my family, and they helped too to find Jesus. That was the only way. That's all. I'm going to tell you. Just to talk. Just want the to do with the. No, no, no. I just want to know. I feel you, darling. You like it, more than one job and the Lord he gives you more than one job he gives you a divine job to do more than one job amen he gives me singing and praying I'm not a great singer but what I do sing you know but they told my oh my mouth too big for it I told them when the Bible tell me that song is to you know to sing you know and make a joyful noise so that's what it does I don't care how ugly I get on the show like that. <laughs> I don't mind doing nothing for the Lord. When I'm done, my master will, but he promised on the pillar cloud. I'm satisfied. Oh, I know. 